Hello guys, today's video is just to talk about what the hell I need to do to complete the completionist cape requirement for my you know Iron Man series. And for those of you that just stumbled upon this video and have no idea what's going on, basically this video goes back to my Iron Man series on my YouTube. And if you want to check that out, you can just find it on my uh, you know YouTube channel. It's called Iron Man Post Year Challenge. So I have done a lot of things for the completionist cape without intentionally doing it while I was you know working on the Iron Man Warrior Challenge series and a lot of it is done luckily which is great such as the skilling aspect except for dungeoneering so I'm just gonna briefly you know go through the list of stuff that I haven't done and just like talk about it and basically summarize when I'm gonna do it and like you know how I plan about doing certain things so first things first, since I've maxed already set for dungeoneering, I don't have to skill anymore except for dungeoneering. I'm doing that basically through daily challenges and uh, jack of trades. That's about it really. And obviously, I believe troll invasion, you know, once a month. And complete all the tasks. I'm working on that right now. I've finished the desert one. That one was really really slow. The other ones are gonna be pretty fast, so that's really good. After all the tasks are done, I'm going to be going for all the quests too. So I'm going to be getting the quest cape and get that out of the way after that. So yeah, these things from quest cape onwards is future stuff that I haven't even bothered to work on. So all this part here is, you know, the liver farm spells. Um, there's no way in hell I'm going to be doing these like in the beginning. I'm probably going to do these last. So yeah, the last part is probably going to kill me. But yeah, this will definitely be the last. Um, we got unlock prayer, rap renewal. That's pretty easy. I can do that. You know, dungeoneering for the dungeoneering tokens for that. Um, I must reach full kudos with rap museum, so that pertains to the quest cape too and some other stuff. So that's easy. I need to unlock 97 pieces of music. I pre I'm pretty sure I'll unlock a lot of it through questing and stuff too. I have to uncover ghostly backstory around desert treasure. So a lot of these post quest things I have to do as well yeah this is also a post quest one I believe too and we got some dungeoneering uh, you know mini game ish things to do as well yep another post quest another post quest and another post quest yeah lots of post quest stuff so I guess after I get the quest game I'm gonna work on all the post quest stuff yeah so basically all these are post quest things and let's move down to Elf titles. So I guess maybe after finishing all the post quest stuff, I'll go ahead and finish all the titles for the Elf City clans. So once that's done, uh, we're gonna move down. Oh shit! Yeah, never mind. Before I even move down, we also gotta collect all the combination potion recipes from the Melier clan. I'm gonna be doing that alongside, you know, going for 120 dungeoneering. So these will work in conjunction and. Hey, look, there's the last two. Complete all Tiny Zermagol's achievement. So that's a post quest thing. Must gain all pawn perks from your aquarium. Okay, so that's going to be a little challenging. That probably time consuming part. So that has to do with fishing. So that's like actually a post uh, 99 thing I have to do. So not bad. Okay, so this is the first time I've actually gone through this myself. And honestly, um, none of these are too, too hard. Like everything seems doable. Like I could probably work on one thing a day and get it done or maybe a few things a day and get it done except for the goddamn liver farm guys that's gonna kill me that's gonna kill me for sure but yeah I don't have to worry about it until I get there it's gonna be a long time before I you know go about and do all this I'm not trying to go hardcore you know grind for the comp cape because I still have a lot of PVMing stuff that I like to spend time on on this R3 Iron Man so yeah uh, for those of you that want to rush me you know, and want me to get this comp cape, please, you know, please, let, let me do as I wish. We'll get it eventually. As you can see, if you watched my Iron Man 1 year challenge, you know that when I set myself for a goal, I try my best to get things done. So, yes, um, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It's just a small video just to show you guys what is uh, still left for the comp cape. And that's about it. I'm going to be working on my R2 Iron Man, of course, and we'll eventually get some of that done. And yeah, I guess um, I'll show this on the episodes every now and then to just show you like the overall progress. And yeah, I hope to see everybody soon, man. Hope you guys enjoy the video and see you guys later. Bye-bye.